Hi, hello, this is Sarvana from A4 Analytics, and today we're going to see about how to use SVG in Microsoft Power BI. Stay tuned. SVG is a, a scalable vector graphic, as you know, is an extensible markup language that we uh, that's that is a vector image format for two-dimensional graphics with support so for interactivity and animations. So, so which is which wholly combines as a CVG, SVG. So most of the people use it in SSRS or other BI tools, reporting tools. So how we do that in Power BI? So it's a very simple technique. Before this video, I, I want to give you a big shout out to Lara, Lara G. So she is the one who who created this in a handful of data block. So I will drop that link in the description box so you can find that. So what she done is so how how we can implement a KPI in a table. So, so this is a traditional KPA card. You know, we use it for target, uh, indicator, trend analysis, other things. So, so this is a simple table. Oops, yeah. So, how we can show this KPI in a table? So, which is a simple technique. You know, we can't just move it over here. It it won't happen. It would be feasible. So, how we do that? So we can only do that using uh, SVG. So we need to have some CSS codes and HTML codes to bring that KPI into the table. And I already have uh, a measure creator in Power BI, so we're gonna sh uh, go, go through it. So what what things we have? What are the variables we have? So we have a variable for SVG essentials. This is a fundamental thing. So so you can see there is a closing tag, and so that is a open tag. So this is a calculate color for element. So we just uh, you know are writing a simple condition. So for sales is lesser than target, then red is greater than target. It's green. A simple condition statement. And we need to have a three elements here, three text elements: SVG indicator, SVG goal, and close. So indicator is the main number we're gonna show it in the in the KPI, which is the sale. And SVG goal is uh, the target we fix it. So which is uh, which is stands for a target sale. So this is the close. So which is the percentage difference between sales and target when we get into the requirement. So now, for total sales and uh, target sales, I have a hard coded a measure. So our sales is around 5.8 million, and our target is around 5.6 million, and uh, and the business the sales guys are doing good, and they are they are above the target. So so we just <clears throat> we just visualize it, you know. This will help you. You know, a sales is a bit over to the target. So we're gonna show it in the KPI. So how are we gonna do that? So we need to have a simple table. You know, a simple table. So we're gonna add this calculation SVG as a field here. So when you do that, you can only see that text which we written you know in this measure we we are returning a concatenated measures okay, sorry concatenated um, uh, variables so which is the start and this is the closing tag 
and we have an indicator we have a goal and close so if a measure returns that this is the simple text we will have you can see uh, we have uh, um, a total sale which is around 5.8 million so we can see a 5.6 million is a target and 3% is a, a percentage difference between target and sale so right now it's showing a text so we need to change it uh, as image url because svg is image you know so we need to change the data category to my image url and uh, we will have something like this so we just want to tweet you know so we can't extend this kpi by dragging the column it won't happen so we need to make some changes uh, in the formatting and in the and in the code is, as well so uh, we can do that and value no not in the value sorry so we need to have uh, we just remove the header you know See, we remove it so we give it a white so we increase the size of a kpi to 150 so this will be visible and uh, and this is it so if you want to do want to show this kpi then just rename it just keep it out it's fine so we need to make some changes in svg kpi measure so what we can do so we drag it here so it would be much visible so we make a change and see it here itself so so our indicator is not showing a 5 8 because 5.8 million is the sales right so we're just seeing half of a 8 so we are not seeing a, a 5 5.8 so so it is an indicator right this is a variable holding a total sale which also in which is also filling the color with a condition which we done here so, so we just reducing the pixels reducing the size of it let's say let's give it 25 oops let's give it 25 let's see how it works mm. if we give 25 okay so so we need to change the x x attribute you know so we're gonna give it as 50 so if you give us a 50 yeah it's good so this 3 percent is fully visible and 5.8 is fully visible so what we are seeing now is a simple table which contains of svg so so we don't we don't need to bother about adding another fields we can add a, a deal name so which can be so since the total sales and target sales is hard coded so we're just seeing uh, 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 the green color for all the values so it not necessarily be so we can so we can map the right fees in your project so we'll have a different uh, numbers different sales, different target percentages and uh, co color coded would be based on the condition you given and you can uh, add as many as field you want uh, similar to a regular you know a regular table so you need to worry about this a very simple one and this will be very very effective you know in terms of uh, understanding the data uh, so the client don't want to have a multiple visuals but want to see in a one one area so this will be much much useful you know and and that's all from my side and i i will post this code in the description so you can take it from uh, take it from that area and that's all from my side and thank you so much for watching and if you have anything to add to this video please drop it in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much see you bye